Did you know that a saddle is one of the few items that cannot be crafted in Minecraft? In this video, learn how to get a saddle in Minecraft, plus there's a special pro Minecraft horse whisperer tip at the end, so stick around. To start, let's talk about fishing for a saddle. But then again, the odds of catching a saddle while fishing with a plain old non-enchanted fishing rod are only 0.8%. You'll have better odds finding saddles in Minecraft by exploring. The odds of finding a saddle are pretty much the same in the Java version of Minecraft as they are in the Bedrock version. You'll have about a 1 in 3 chance of finding a saddle in a nether fortress or dungeon chest, a 1 in 4 chance of finding one in a desert temple chest, a 1 in 8 chance of finding one in a bastion remnant, a jungle temple, or end city chest, and about a 1 in 20 chance of finding one in a stronghold altar chest. You can also find them in savannah village chests and chests in weaponsmiths and leather workers houses. If on the other hand you'd rather fight for your saddle, you can take on a fearsome strider. If you find one with a saddle, there's an 8.5% chance it'll drop the saddle when it dies. Or you can take on a pillager raid and fight a ravager. There's a 100% drop rate for saddles for ravagers. By far, my favorite way to get saddles is by trading with a master level leather worker villager. So now that you've got a saddle, here's how to put a saddle on your Minecraft horse. While sitting on the horse, open your inventory. In the top left hand side, there are two boxes. Put your saddle in the top slot. If you want to put armor on your horse in Minecraft, you can do so by placing it in the slot below the saddle. With your saddle on your new horse, you're ready to ride anywhere you want to go. And here's a pro Minecraft horse whisperer tip. To make your horse jump the highest, hold down the jump button and release it when the charge on the jump strength meter reaches its peak. Another handy thing to know is how to breed horses in Minecraft, and you can learn how to do that in this next 2 Minute Minecraft video, and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Until next time, craft on!